America's first satellite, the Vanguard, failed in a huge explosion on the launch pad. Hey, I'm John Williams. I'm at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. And right next to me is the Vanguard satellite payload. So back in 1957, America had a public launch of the Navy's Vanguard rocket. It was going to be a direct response to the Sputnik launch. We were going to launch this satellite right here into space. However, the launch, even though it was fully publicized and was on every TV that could ever broadcast it, the, the rocket, as soon as it took off, it started to bend and malfunction and buckled, and then all of a sudden the rocket fell back down itself, exploding, and it was just a massive failure. And the explosion actually knocked the cap off of the rocket, and then this satellite right here flew off away from the whole launch site to a tarmac. And literally, it was the most embarrassing setback for the United States in the space race. It was terrible. But afterwards, they... Um, some workers found this satellite, and they found out that literally the bolts that held it together had broken, but the internal electronics had not been severed, so they could still see what had happened. So that's pretty cool. Now, after this failure, we switched to the Redstone rocket, the Jupiter C, and that's when we were able to launch our first satellite, Explorer 1, into space. But this was just terrible for the beginning of the space race in the United States. Now, one more cool artifact. Is if you look right here, you can see a Sputnik key. Now, this little key right here, this exact one, was in the original Sputnik that launched in 1957. This key would have separated the batteries from the transmitter. The transmitter was super simple. It would have just sent that beep, 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 if you've heard it before. Just basically that. So as soon as those batteries hit that transmitter, it would start sending back that iconic beep. So this pin right here was on it, on the ground. And you can see this little hole in the middle. That's probably where the battery was touching it. So before the launch, that pin would have been, or before it was put inside the R7 rocket, that pin probably was removed or removed during flight. And then the satellites start transmitting. And then as soon as that happened, it separated and flew into space and kept going around. So this is the last piece of the original Sputnik that we still have. It's so cool, even though it's just a smi small key. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos and maybe subscribe. Have a great day. Our mission is to make you space intelligent.